This is your average American, Joe. But this is also Joe, except each of these images are generated by, you guessed it, artificial intelligence. The most loved AI image generation tool, Midjourney, with the help of some other plugins, will now officially let you apply your own face to literally any image you generate. Can you imagine the possibilities this opens up for? Tinder photos, travel pics for your Instagram, or the perfect LinkedIn profile pic you've been searching for for the last year? Done. And don't worry, I'll make sure to show you every single step to how you create these images with your own real-life face in them. It's actually easier than you can imagine. If you've missed it, you're watching How to AI. For those of you that have discovered the potential of AI and how it can make your life about 10 times easier, but don't know how to implement it, I highly encourage you to subscribe because we've got more of these AI-related videos coming. Now, let's get into it. As you may know, before, it was difficult for regular people to integrate their faces into pictures unless you were a famous person. But now there's a new way to make pictures look like you were there during the trip thanks to a tool called Pixie.ai by Insight Face. Today, we're going to use the new method to change your face in any picture. There is an old method, but it takes a long time and uses complicated tools. You only need one picture of yourself. Just make sure it shows your facial features very clearly. And then it'll make it look like you were on an exotic trip or literally any other situation you want it to be. We're going to use their Discord bot called Insight Face Swap along with the Midjourney Discord bot for the actual image generation. Make sure to follow the instructions, and if you feel like it's going too fast, just pause the video. If you wonder why our Discord interface is in Swedish, it's because we've been helped by an AI image generation pro that volunteered to teach us this specific method. You know who you are, we thank you so much and we're really, really grateful. The language won't make anything harder, really, just wanted to give you a heads up. Now, to begin with, you'll need to create a Discord server with both of the two Discord bots. Now that we've got that out of the way, to get started, the first thing you need to do is use the command called forward slash save ID and upload an image while giving it a name. When you use the forward slash save ID command, you'll be able to upload an image. In this case, we have decided to use a picture of our choice that we found on Google and named it How to AI. Keep in mind, this is just for the example and you shouldn't use pictures of others without permission. Anyways, the name should follow some rules. It should only have letters and numbers and be no longer than 10 characters. That's why we couldn't use Average American Dude as the name, which we tried earlier. On the free plan, you can register up to 20 different IDs. There are also rules for the image you upload, like it should be from a clear front view, high quality, without glasses, no heavy bangs, and they prefer ID-like photos. After creating the ID name, it's time to prompt the AI to generate the actual image. Imagine a scenario of a man in his 40s with short dark hair in the middle of a rainforest with specific camera settings like 35mm, f1.8, cinematic lighting, global illumination. These prompts might sound very specific, and you don't need to specify any lens settings while doing this for yourself. We just did it for this example as it helps Midjourney understand what kind of image you want. Actually, to make Midjourney work better, you should prompt how things look in different kinds of light and with different camera settings. Midjourney will understand if you mention specific cameras and lenses like Sony a7S or Canon R6. It's not completely perfect at understanding lenses, but for cinematic images, you can use the size of the shot to help. We'll see how it works this time. Make sure to take some notes of these prompts and research some lenses to improve how you give prompts. Because for a perfect face swap, good images need to be generated, and the only way to do that is writing good prompts. Imagine your camera like your eye. When the camera's eye or lens is very open at f1.8, which means focal length 1.8, it lets in a lot of light and takes pictures quickly. But only the main part of the picture is clear, and everything else is blurry. When the camera's eye is almost closed at f22, it lets in less light, takes pictures slowly, and keeps most things in the picture clear and focused. That's why we will go with the prompt, an American man in his 40s with short dark hair in the middle of a rainforest 35mm, f1.8, cinematic lighting, global illumination. If you want to master Midjourney, start in their newbie rooms, playing around with some prompts yourself and looking at others' generations. 
you'll see descriptions and keywords like photorealistic or sunset lighting to achieve different outcomes. It's very important to specify lighting preferences like sunset, bright or neon, and use terms like photorealistic and fine resolution for clarity. If you'd like to know more, we've also got a coming email newsletter that will include weekly prompts and ways to use AI efficiently. Just sign up via the link in the video description and you'll get an AI tool cheat sheet for free as well. Now, with your prompt, once you have the images generated, you notice that one of them has the character looking directly into the camera, which is what you want. Now, you're going to replace the face in this image with your own. To do this, the first step is upscaling the image you want to use. Like you see here, we upscaled the fourth image by pressing U4. Upscaling basically means you make the image larger, enhancing quality. After you've upscaled it and it looks good enough, save it to your computer. Upload it to the server chat by pressing the plus icon and you're ready for the next step. Now, just right click on the image and a menu will appear. From this menu, select the option that reads copy message link. Move over to the command box and just type in forward slash swap ID. Finally, we are going to perform the face swap in this step. Once you've entered forward slash swap ID, you'll notice a space for uploading an image. In addition to that, you see a text box labeled ID name. This is where you will mention the ID name you want to use for the face swap. In this case, we have to enter the how to AI ID that we created before. In the space for image uploading, you want to upload the image that you previously generated with Midjourney, as we want to replace the face in this image with the picture of how to AI ID. After entering the ID name and the AI generated image, simply press the enter key. As you can see, the prompt is sent now. All you have to do is wait for a few seconds patiently as the system will generate a new image. Once the image is generated, you'll notice that the picture's original pose and setting remain, but only the face is swapped with a How to AI ID photo. This photo is pretty damn cool, but might not be a fit for a Tinder profile or your Instagram feed. Let's try creating something more realistic so that Joe can use it for his social media. We'll start with a pretty unique prompt, an American man in his 40s with short dark hair on a beach in Florida with a pina colada in his hand. 35mm lens, f1.8, global illumination, accent lighting. As usual, you'll get four images here too. Four American men looking at the camera on a beach with a drink in hand. Let's take the first one, since once again, it will be the most suitable for the face swap. Let's repeat the process quickly and upscale it. This one's going to be a lot more realistic. To upscale it, just click on U1 and you will get a clear, full-resolution image. Click on it and open it in full screen to download the picture in your device. Now, go to the command box and type in forward slash swap ID. As usual, it gives you a space to upload the image. Here, you need to upload the mid-journey generated image which you downloaded a moment ago. And you can see there's a box here to enter ID name. Here, just type in how to AI or whatever your saved ID name is. After all these, once you press enter, it will generate the final image. As you can see, the man in the image got the same shirt, same appearance, same beach and lighting. Even the pina colada is also there as the mid-journey generated image. Only the face is changed now as it's swapped with our how to AI image. This one turned out super good. And if I were Joe, I'd put this as my profile photo on Instagram. Imagine the potential this feature has. You'll be able to create professional LinkedIn profile pictures in no time. Pictures for dating apps are literally anywhere that you need your face. You don't even need to own a suit, and you can still create a really good image wearing a $1,000 suit. I'm really excited to see what you guys are able to create, so make sure to join our Discord community in the description below and tag me with your face swaps. Other than that, it's also a great place to connect with other AI enthusiasts. Leave a like and comment with what character you'd put your face on with this technique. And don't forget the free AI tool cheat sheet listed in the description below. Thanks for watching.